Alright, so good afternoon, the Bacads, the Five Nine, the Corporates. I'm back. By the way, I am a Bobby Gardosi, certified security professional, and then certified security trainer, and then certified security management specialist, and then certified security and safety investigator, and then a licensed OS, occupational health. Safety. So, mga corporate and dabar cards or ka five nine. Our topic for today is leaders. It's all about leadership styles. Alam ko marami ka yung makukuha dito. No, and you can use it in your daily work. And you can use it on how you handle your personal. No, by the way, um, my favorite leader. No, kung sa mga presidente, first is uh. Marcos, no? So, akin lang naman yun. Favorite ko siya. I want his leadership style. Then, number two is that our current president, Mr. Rodrigo Duterte. Alright? So, we back to our topic, leadership styles. By the way, what is leader? Who is the leader? What is the function of the leader? So, isa-isahin natin yan. Of course, Is the leader is a person who influences a group of people towards the achievements of goal. Of course, no. Ang sinasabi niya dito, ito yung tao, no, na nag-influence sa mga personal niya, sa boardiness niya, para ma-achieve yung kanilang goal during operations. What is their goal during the operations? Of course, no. One hundred percent accomplishment. No. One hundred percent. There is no incident. Yan yung goal ng mga officers during their tour of duty. Number two is that is one who goes first and leads by example. Pag leader ka kasi, ikaw yung nagli-lead as an example with your subordinates. No? Parang ang hirap kasi maging leader, ladies and gentlemen. No? Hindi ka pwedeng magkamali. You're always uh, in the correct side. No? Dahil pag nagkamali ka, no? pag nakikita nung uh, subordinate mo, So, sabihin niya, eh, si sir nga ginagawa niya yun eh. Ako pa kaya. So, never do that in front of your personal. Alright? Next. So, that the others are motivated to follow him. No, pag uh, nag-set as example ka with your personal, mas fire yung mga subordinates mo and personal mo. Wow. Ang galing ni sir. Hindi gumagawa ng mali. Lahat tama ang ginagawa niya. This is the basic requirements to be a leader. Ito, isa lang sa mga basic requirements ng leader yan. A person must have deep-rooted commitment to the goal that he will strive to achieve if even nobody's follows him. No, ang sinasabi niya dito, uh, ito yung taong may dedicated, sobrang dedicated sa trabaho niya. Kahit na walang sumusunod sa kanya, pilit niyang ipapakita no, na ito ang dapat gawin natin para ma-achieve yung goal natin. So that is the qualities of the goal leader. Anyway, um, Uh, we go to our main topic. What kind of leaderships did you use when you handle your personal? Anong klaseng leadership ba? Mayroon lang apat no? na dapat nating pag-aralan this afternoon. So number one here is that autocratic leadership style. Dogmatic. So right after nito, kung i-enumerate natin, no? i-explain natin one by one. Number two is that democratic participative leadership style. And then number three is that bureaucratic leadership style. And then number number four is that the least is fair leadership style. So mayroon tayong apat. Now, unahin natin itong sinasabi kong dogmatic leadership style. Ano ba ito? Anong klaseng leadership style ito? So, as dogmatic, ito yun. A style has complete command and hold over his team. Wala kang say na nasa boardings ka. Wala kang say na personal ka. Kung anong sinasabi ko dito, yun ang dapat sundin natin. Yan yung dogmatic leadership styles. Another thing is that the team forward their views even if they are based for them as organization to interest. No? Kahit napakaganda ng recommendation mo, hindi niya yan pampansinin. No? Kung ano yung sa kanya, yun lang ang susundin ng kanyang subordinates. That is autocratic or democratic leadership style. Dogmatic. No? So next one is the democratic leadership style. Ano naman ang democratic? No? Invites and encourages the team to play an important role in decision-making process. Thought that ultimate decision-making power rests with the leader. No, 
So, nagkakandak ito ng brainstorming. No? Magkakandak sa ng meeting, and during the meeting, magbe-brainstorming siya. O, for example, ikaw, number one, ano yung uh, recommendation mo? Ano yung pananaw mo dito? Number two, what do you think? Uh, okay ba tong plan natin? So, that is democratic leadership style. Right? So, we go to bureaucratic no? leadership style. Ito yung sinasabing, ito yung leadership style that is strictly adhered to the organizational roles and policies. Maka, policy and procedures naman ito. Kung bagay, bokes ito. No? Kung ano yung nakalagay sa policy and procedures natin, yun lang susundin niya. No? Wala na. Another thing is that they make sure that his team is also strictly follows the roles and procedures. Paano lang nakalagay doon? Yun lang. Walang any recommendations. Almost the same with dogmatic. No? Pag itong leadership style naman, the leader totally trust his team, the job himself. No? Okay lang. Kayaan ko kayo magtrabaho dyan. May tiwala ako sa inyo. But the problem here is that work only when the employees are skilled and lawyer experience and intellectual. Now, this is kind of leadership style na paano kung yung uh, mga security personnel mo or mga personnel mo, you don't know how to work. Kung hindi sila skilled. So, it may result by failure. So, yan yung disadvantage ng leadership style na ito. No? This is leadership style. So, based on my experience, mga Dabarkads, ka-corporates, no? ka-59, ang the best leadership styles na dapat mong gamitin with your handle your, with, while you handle your personal or you handle your personal is that you need to combine the dogmatic leadership style and then democratic leadership style. No? Parang ano lang yan eh. Parang uh, ibon lang yan. Pag nakikita mo yung personal mo, na medyo nagre-relax no? kailangan mong luwagan yung leg nila, yung talit luwag konti no? so hindi naman masyadong maluwag baka mag-relax ng relax naman yan that may result to uh, major incidents to your company no? so luwag lang and then nakita mo sobrang nagre-relax naman siya sobrang nagre-relax naman sila so ang gagawin mo naman is that you need to use yung dogmatic Luwag, sikip, luwag, sikipan lang. No? Ibig sabihin, pag medyo nagre-relax sila, you use the dogmatic leadership style. Pag medyo uh, nagsisikipan na naman sila, nahirapan na sila huminga, dahil sobrang uh, higpit mo, you need to use the democratic style of leadership. Alright? Okay? So, so that's it. No? So, I hope marami kayong natutunan dito mga Dabarkads, mga ka mga ka-corporate. So, marami pa akong ibablog. Kung mayroon kayong gustong i-discuss natin, uh, mag-comment lang. No? And, uh, ang bang kaya ko ay gagawin ko. No? So, so far, yan lang. Marami pa akong ibablog. Bye-bye. By the way, huwag, kayo, huwag kalimutan kung bago po kayo sa channel na to, huwag yung kalimutan mag-share mag-like, and then mag-subscribe. Tulungan lang tayo. By the way, uh, kapahid nine, ka-corporate, no? mga Dabarkads, pag uh, pumunta kayo sa training center, sobrang mahal ng training. Dito sa channel ko, ang kailangan ko lang sa inyo, i-share nyo lang, i-subscribe nyo lang, mag-like lang kayo. No? May mga ideas na kayong makukuha dito. Tulungan lang tayo. Tutulungan ko kayo to have more knowledge about the leadership kung ano man yung gusto nyo na hindi tutulungan nyo rin ako okay? para hindi rin uh, mawala yung channel natin okay, bye bye